Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen from around the world. My name is Wale, coming to you live from Nigeria on this program called Leadership Alida. Leadership Alida, because like I said last week, everybody was ordained to be a leader. He said he has risen to a Lord that make us to sit as kings and king and kings and priests, and we shall reign over the head. So we are we 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 were all we are all leaders in our different sphere of life. And we also see, saw that um, Jesus, God said that take dominion. When he created man, he said, be fruitful, have dominion, replicate, duplicate. He talk all those things. One of the things that he said there was have dominion, which is control, lead. So um, it is very, very important for we all to know that we are all leader. So what we are doing this month is how do we lead effectively? Uh, what is Jesus Christ's way to lead? What is the way to lead and have the best productivity? What is the best way to lead and have the and, and have maximum result? So that is what we are just trying to do. For instance, I would prefer some people will even prefer to be a follower than to be a leader, say, because some people don't know how to lead. For instance, where what would you like to be? Would you like to be a follower following Bill Gates or be a leader? Leading in leading to a trip, of course, being a follower will be even be better off in some case. So, and we all are supposed to yearn to be leader. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about how to position yourself for a better leadership in order to have organizational success and follower success too. In Nigeria today, we see that a lot of um, people only have organizational success. Followers, no leader, no... So, in fact, some pastors, some people have postulated that if some daddy geo die, nobody again will ever be like them. Because they did not reproduce themselves. They did not try to do, try to make other people the way. So let, let's go into what we are talking about. My name is Oye Konlu Ole Basi. I am the one teaching you about leadership. And I am a leader in my work. If there's one thing that you should know about me is that I am a good leader. There is a boy, there's a boy like 13, 14 years that is living in my house. Now, all what I know, the boy knows it. Like for instance, the boy can, he knows some digital marketing stuff. He could make money. The boy is saving money. The boy is saving money. So... And the boy can even speak some English, like graduate. So that is why I want to say that a leader, from those, from those, that my small experience, a leader is somebody who brings somebody from dustbin, turn the person to a global personality, a, a high degree success. I have testimony of that, like the one that I've said, and many others, but the, this one that I've shared to you is the one happening currently right now. This boy is saving money. This boy came from where there was no form of anything and just with less than two weeks or two weeks or maybe three weeks he have all his characteristics he's able to do a lot of things on laptop he can work on microsoft word he can work on canva he can work on fiverr fiverr marketplaces he could he could do some things so this is a good characteristic of leader not to suppress what i see with people is that they don't even let some some of their followers see what they are doing to produce money what i see with people is that they don't even they see their followers like animals. In fact, some people see their followers, some people see their followers, animal like dog and their cat is more important than their followers. Animal like dog and their cat. And it's, it's even in the Bible. We saw the rich man and the story of Lazarus. The rich man was feeding his own dog more than Lazarus. We saw a lot of, in fact, don't let me begin to talk, governor, do you think that do you think that, okay, look at the former pre president of Nigeria. He will leave Asura, go and check his cow. He will look at the Yoruba one too. He will leave Asura, come to Ota, come and check his pig because all, all, this, all those things like that. Come and check his pig and, and chicken. So human beings should be placed of high priority. And... The, in fact, I have seen a pastor. This one is a pastor who went to buy bone and meat ashamo egun in this way they call it those bones that used to gum with meat they used to cut it like that ashamo egun so a woman was buying bone 
to go and cook for his children. The pastor now said that this bone and meat, I want to go and give my dog. And the bone and meat is more important. The pastor is the one giving this testimony showing that God has blessed him. God has prospered him. So he's saying that the what my dog is eating is more important. Is more is it important? Is more better. Better is better off to what human being is eating. The pastor was saying it does not cross his pastor's mind that he could just maybe even if the words come to the world, just take like two or three of your own bone that 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 come along with flesh. Give it to that woman that buy only. He claimed that he buy bone. He buy meat for his own dog, 3,000 naira. And that woman buy this thing for his own, for his own children and everything, 100 naira. You, you understand the story? So it's like, it's like um, for about, um, about 15 times what his dog eats is 15 times better than. So better than, because if that one buy 3,000 naira, this one buy 100 naira, what is old mother, children, everybody. So that is what we are talking about. But so now today we are looking at, let's look at characteristics of a good leader. Characteristics of a good leader. That's what we want to just look at. Characteristics of a good leader. So who is a good leader? What should we see? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like us to know that if you are under a bad leader, you need to run away from that kind of leader. Because he will not, he will lead you to his own pocket. He will nothing concern him with your destiny, nothing concern him with fulfilling of destiny, nothing concern him with what your vision is, nothing concern him with what your mission is. Is is only for instance, there are a lot of church today. Immediately you become pastor, they tell you you need to leave your home vision and pursue only the pastor mission. Because it's only this big man that God called. It's only the big man that can hear from God. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the best way. However, you are supposed to just be a lider. Go refer to our first message. You are supposed to be a lider where other people climb to become their own. The least person that you should produce is somebody who is as big as you, who is as better as you. That is what we are looking at, at this morning. So, let's go ahead and look. Listing actively to your followers. Now, let me, all, each of these, I will be sharing it according to my knowledge. Listening actively to your followers. If your followers bring a, you see, first, one of the greatest characteristics of a leader is not because you are knowledgeable. It's not because you are better. It's not because you come from a rich family. It's not because you have all the cast for the people. One of the greatest characteristics of a leader is ability to listen. If you cannot listen and Pay a close attention and then releases the information as necessary. You will spoil everything. If a, if a follower is coming, is talking, is talking, you you already assume that, oh, I know what he is about to say. Eh, don't disturb me. You does not have, just like the way if a follower does not listen to you, you're supposed to be sacked. That is how you are supposed to be sacked, not being able to listen to the follower. For instance, a follower is saying that um, my wife is sick. My this thing is my this thing is my child is not feeling fine. You say, Oh, I know where he's going now. He's, he wants to beg me for money. What the, a good listener will wait and reach the hand. It may not actually be money. It may not actually it, what about if you want to take excuse? What about if you want to even tell you that my wife that is sick will make me work very hard? So listening pays very, very um good this thing. Then communication. When you are communicating, number one way to communicate effectively, assume that that person, put yourself in that person's shoes. Put yourself in that person's shoes that is passing through that problem. So after listening, we we'll go to communication, another good character of a leader. Put yourself in that person's shoes. In communicating, don't communicate with only your knowledge. Give the person things like book to read. Give the person, it's also, you are, it's also another form of communication. That is indirect communication. You are communicating to him. Give the person an audio. Buy, um, give the person phone and tell the person that, okay, this phone, there's memory card, there's five messages there. All those kind of things. All these things is what I have done very, very well. Go and listen. Another thing for you to do is to show empathy. Show empathy. Even Jesus Christ wept when Lazarus died. So why, why should you and I not cry? when we see people in problem why should you and i not show remorse when we see people in problem all my followers all people that are like 
that I like, that I'm leading, that I'm directing, they know that I'm very, very good at this thing. They know that, in fact, so a lot of my down, a lot of my people have claimed that, do you, are you sure that you grow in Nigeria? Because nobody grew in Nigeria and, and maintain this kind. A lot of people, when they start, when they started, they said that, well, I will be helping the poor. But when poor people begin to dawn on them, when poor people begin to wicked them, they begin to say, no, I'm not helping again. For instance, a lot of church, the pastor will come and say that, when I help the poor, they shit there. They defic when I allow some people to sleep in that place, they defecate there. So I close the door. When I, when I started, I first of all started to, by giving the poor people money. But when, they, when I hear them using the money to not do what, I, what me I plan or what I ask them to do, I stop it. So the helping would now be, I helped somebody in 1986. I helped somebody in 2001. I helped somebody. So those, that is what church is now known for. Now, so they are using it to cause confusion. Because if you, ask, if you tell a church member that your papa, your, your pastor does not help people, he will remember that the pastor said I helped somebody in 2001. But the pastor is collecting tight offering everything up to today. Every time, but he, but if you tell him, he will say, "Ah, my they preach about message of helping in 1984." <laughs> so that is what we are talking about. Show empathy, and of course, when you show empathy, remember we are not talking about taking action now. We are talking about showing empathy. Showing empathy, number one, sit down and listen. Number two, reasons to take for Number three, show that you feel the person pain. Show that you experience the person pain. That is showing empathy. Another one is provide support and resources. If you don't have resources to help people, forget about being a leader. If you don't have what it takes to help people, don't be a leader at all, at all. Because for you to be a leader, for you to be leading, maybe you have a school and people are working for you, maybe you have this and people are doing this, you must have what you use to help them because... It's just like a father. That thing, that thing, same thing is just like a father that wants to give birth and there is nothing, nothing at all. Will the child not go to school? Will your, will your follower not be sick? Will your follower not run to you and say that I cannot eat? Will your follower not run to you? So don't even think about it to be encouraged. Another kind of sense of a good... Okay, let me be referring you people to Nigeria situation. I will be comparing it with Nigeria situation. Now, we talk about provide support and resources. Just look. Who is providing support and resources? We are not talking about leaders, that, followers are 50,000. 50, then you help only three. You help only maybe five or six. In fact, I have a bitter story with this. When we were undergraduate, they told us that our church wanted to give scholarship. That all of us that our father died, we should come and pay to 2,000 Naira. So we, we, we fooled the church. You, you know Nigeria, now anything about free something. So we collect um, 2,000 Naira in a church that can take nothing less than 300 or 400 in Ife. So they collect that money from us, 2,000 or 1,500 or 1,000. So they now give one person 25,000 Naira. After we check, 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 three, four months, five months, six months, nobody have collected this thing. We now discover that they gave, we now discover the original scholarship that came out and they use it, they give one person 25,000. And we reached 300 that contribute that money. So even, you see, pray that you should not be poor person because they will, the rich will even be, be sucking you again. So this church, this church that I'm talking about, I don't want to call the name, it's a very big church. So ladies and gentlemen, provide support. If you know that you cannot provide support, just go and follow and save money first before you come and become a leader. Because it's just like a father and a mother. Provide support. How can you provide support? Not only you. It's not, you may not have everything. Even, choose, even God self may, will not have everything. But have the basic things. Like, for instance, before me, I start to lead some people. I will ensure that if they come to my house, will I be able to give them food? The reason why I don't have plenty of people here now it's because I am 100% sure that the people gathering around me must eat. And the people sitting around me in this small gathering, they must eat before they go. They must do something before, they, before something happens. That is why we encourage growth. This one, hey, just count this one out of Nigeria. Encourage growth. So you want to grow and pass me? 
And this is where even me too, I made a mistake on this one. Even me too, I made a mistake. I was into a business and my follower was growing. He wanted to grow very well. And idea just came that this person, if he come back here, he could help me. This one too. This encourage growth too. In fact, it is a very, very difficult thing though, for you to see. And of course, it is knowledge. It is knowledge. But now I can never ever make that kind of mistake. Encourage growth means something like believe that it is a good thing for your follower to overtake you. Now my mind is so broad. In my business that I'm doing, what happened is that in, the, in those days, they told us that if somebody who is following you overtake you, it's dangerous. Though. But now, even if I will be in primary one, people following me with my knowledge, they are in university. It's even best for me. It's even best for me. Of course, we are likely to make mistakes. So the idea came to my mind that, oh, why not we work in this thing together and growing together and since only you now you have the opportunity now to meet to talk to people why not we come in and doing this business together and something like that because the person was actually expanding expanded his influence and i beg god for forgiveness because that was a very big mistake and that thing now that is why i could come boldly and tell the whole world that if you are a leader this growth encourage growth is the greatest thing is the greatest characteristics that you encourage because if your follower grow you are in a better position to grow too a lot of advantage come when your follower grow every father always pray for his pray for his son to good but what a lot of company do like the where me i receive training they were saying that if your somebody who is coming overtook you is dangerous, which is very, very wrong, especially with network marketing. They say that the money that you, you will take will not equal to this. So that is what we are talking about. Recognize reward. Reward them. I am very, very, all this that I'm talking about, I am very, very good in them. Re reward them. Reward them. There's a boy that is that good. Let's go back to that 14 years old boy. If that boy do one thing that makes me happy, I will dash him 20 naira, I will go and save it. I will dash him 15 naira, I will go and save it. He encourage growth and this thing. That is if I have. If I, but I have like 15 naira, 100 naira, so I will dash him. He will go and save it. Recognize and reward. I will give him, he will go and save it. I will give him. So, delegate responsibility. Don't always think that your followers does not know anything. Give them things to do shift and let them take over the space shift and let them take over the space let them let them up assume the position of leadership but you know what a lot of people take this as real as real life oppressing their followers oppressing their followers my own i made it as mistake yet i realized my eyes open it was like a mistake. Not as if it's intentional, not as if it's planning something. It was like a mistake. Yet I realized that it's one of the greatest and worst mistake. So let's go. Set clear expectation. Give them goal to achieve and give them this thing to achieve. Then they will achieve. Set goals, organizational goal, individual goals. And that thing is promote work-life balance. Work-life balance. So work and life. Work-life balance. Time to rest. Time for them to relax. Work-life. Work and their life. Focus on their life to balance. So ladies and gentlemen, lead by example. Very, very important. You're going to lead by example. Otherwise, you may not ever, ever lead. You will lead by example. Otherwise, you can never, ever lead. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we will stop this message i remain you can do only bye for now help me to subscribe your subscription mean a lot to me your subscription and your comment and your like encourage me to want to do more 
when somebody's doing it and nobody's even doing anything, it discourages, it discourages the person. Thank you very much. God bless.